Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra and on this channel we do all things Disney. A little bit of crafting, some mystery box openings, merchandise hauls, a little bit of everything and anything related to Disney. If you are returning, thank you for being here again with me. Today is a very exciting video for me because I am um, opening up everything that is up related. So I'm in my up studio. Up studio? No, I'm not. I'm in my craft room with my backdrop of my up stuff. So <laughs> one of my favorite places to be because up is one of my um, most favorite Disney movies and just everything about it, the aesthetic. I love um, Russell the Scout. I love the cranky old man. I love Kevin and his colorfulness. It's, it's just awesome. So the balloons, so I have a few things today, purchases and a very special magic mail that I wanna to show to you. Um, I just opened this box. I opened the bigger box and took it out so it's already unpacked, but I purchased, and I couldn't believe about a month ago they announced this was coming, and it is a Lego set that is up-themed, and um, I got it, and it's beautiful. And I had to have it, I think I bought it at um, midnight on the day it came out, uh, maybe like 12.02, and couldn't wait. I think it's sold out now, I believe. Um, secondary market, it's available and probably going, but this is mine, mine, mine. I'm going to keep it. Maybe if I had thought to buy two, I could get rich, but it is what it is. Okay, look at this. It is the up house with the balloons, with the characters. It's amazing. I have been looking at something that's like a knockoff Lego thing that I've been kind of waiting to buy. And, and I loved that actually, but wow. Okay, so this is special um, for Disney 100. This is new. And so let's take a closer look. Look at the little bow of, uh, bouquet of balloons at the top. Even the rooster is there the weather vane on the top of the house. And then you have the house, the windows. You've got Carl and Russell and Doug and a squirrel. <laughs> You've got over here the, um, these are like the helium to blow up the balloons. But look at the door. The door even has a doorknob. We've got all the colorfulness on the house itself. And then down here is tells you what characters are included and the Lego bits and all that. This is amazing and I can't wait to do it. I don't think I've done Lego since my kids are much older and out of the house. But, um, you know, they were big Lego guys. And um, I don't think I helped them since they were little, little because they did it by themselves. Let's take a further look. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. So I haven't even fully taking this in but I'm going to show you let me tell you a little bit first there's the adventure book there is the um uh what you call it the paradise falls savings bank the big jar there is um so many details there's the the not the megaphone what do you call the record player <laughs> that looks like a um oh gosh I can't think of the word for it, but the old fashioned record player. And then um, you've got all kinds of details like Carl's um, Walker cane thingy. Here's where I mentioned the helium tank for the balloons. And look at, it's even attached one balloon like it's blowing it up. Here is Carl and Russell inside the house. And there's a picture on the wall there. It's a picture of a bird, it's not Kevin. Okay. The balloons obviously can be held in a hand. There's Carl's mailbox and fence. Doug, it almost looks like his tail moves. Maybe it does. We'll see that when we open and put it together. In the house, you've got pictures of Ellie, older Ellie. You've got Carl and Ellie as they're getting married. You've got a picture of Paradise Falls there. This is the book, the um, adventure scrapbook. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cool. Look at all this stuff. So not just only do you have the inside of the house and the or the outside of the house and the beautiful colors, but you've got full on inside of the house. Okay, this is gonna wanna make me play with it after I put it together like I used to play with my Fisher-Price houses with my sister. 
<laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so excited about this. So what I'm going to do is um, we'll do a separate video of me assembling it. Um, I might have to, I was talking to Karen over at Disney Inside Andy and Andy's getting one too. And um, we were talking about a challenge, like a <laughs> Lego challenge, but I think Andy will blow me away because I haven't done this kind of thing in a long time. Um, but that's really fun, really cool. So I will um, video the making of it, the putting together, and then I will um, also show the finished product. So, I mean, you see it here, but I can't wait to have it in real life. And then I've got to figure out where it's going to go. We may have to move some things around, get a new shelf, something, because it needs a prominent place. Very, very cool. If you are um, looking at them even aftermarket, I think it was $59, $59.95. Um, I don't normally buy that kind of thing. I don't normally spend on Legos. I do have a, a small Lego castle of Disney Castle, but... Um, yeah, it was, there was no way I was not going to get it. It's, it's up. <laughs> okay, speaking of up, I have one pin purchase that I bought. I was watching, um, Dream 499 Pins. So she has a live on Instagram and it is, I think her name is Diane. It's kind of new for me, um, recommended by a friend, but, um, she does her lives on Sunday night, Sunday it's kind of Sunday evening for me on the West Coast. I guess it's it's earlier, um, maybe three o'clock PST. And oh, I meant to bring scissors over here. Maybe I did. Okay, so I just bought one pin. I didn't actually stay on very long, but that was good because I need to rein it in a bit. Oh, I've got all her info here. So on Instagram, Dream Four Nine Nine Pins. It says a Tigorific thanks. That's awfully cute. And she has her um, eBay, PayPal, email, Venmo are all on here, plus the Instagram. It's Diana Delker. And that's cute. I will post her information down below in the description. But that's very cute. So you may remember if you've been watching my channel for a while that I bought a few puzzle pins recently because I just saw a good deal on it. And then um, for the up puzzle, now that's like the 10 to 12 piece puzzle. Like I think they're 10 with two chasers and I only have a couple. I've just finished Zootopia. I haven't even shown that complete yet. And I think I have a Tiana and that's it. And this one I just said, well, I'll just get them as I go if I see them for good deals. And this one was a good deal. So I bought two recently. I had one already. This will make the fourth one. And it's really funny because I think this is the corner of um, the last two I bought. I think it connects with them. So this is Young Carl and Ellie and their adventure book. A little bit of the balloons there in the background. And this is going to be fun if I ever complete it. I think some of the puzzle pieces are pretty reasonable. That They're not as desired like the months one and the... Um, Alpha, Beta, and something else, dogs. There's a few that might be a little easier to get. Kevin is through the roof, I think, price-wise. But, um, you know, who knows? Maybe at some point I will come up with a good trade to be able to acquire him. If you know um, any place to get good deals on these or somebody willing to trade um, pieces of this puzzle, feel free to let me know. I would love to do that. Okay, and then my very, very special piece of magic mail is from my friend Pam over at, um, that just went right out of my head. Oh, Coco for Disney. <laughs> Sorry, Pam. Um, super cute. She sent me a package. We got some fun stickers on here. I won't show you our addresses, but I know what's in here and it's up themed as well. And I am so excited. Um, I had this on my wish list and it's not part of a swap or anything. It's just out of the kindness of her heart. I think she was gifted one and had purchased one. And so she gifted one to me. And that is just amazing. If you have not checked out Pam's channel, you need to go do that. She's at Coco for Disney. And she's just the sweetest. She's um, a collector. We have many collections in common, like Up and Tiana. She also loves... Um, Aurora. Aurora and Maleficent, I think, are her 
most favorite to collect, but she's got um, all kinds of things, but just such a wonderful person, very generous, very kind, um, uplifting. I just love our new friendship and I couldn't be more blessed by this. So let's dive in. I hope I cut open the right side, but we'll see. So I've just got some packing paper here. She reused the um, 707 Street box. Oh, there's a card. Let's do that first. Every time I put something down on the table, it's shaking. So I'm going to try to do that lightly. Um, oh, that's so cute. Look at the little Mickey sticker on the back there. Oh, this is adorable. <gasps> this is such a pretty card. It's um, Tinkerbell, but it's like a... I don't know, it's like a hand painting, almost watercolory. So, so pretty. I love that. Aw, <laughs> hope you had a happy birthday, Pam. <laughs> hope you had a happy birthday, Pam. Um, so uh, she's calling this a birthday gift, but this is way more generous than a birthday gift. My birthday was in February, so it was a, hope you had, was a belated birthday. Um, Regardless, this is just the sweetest. Let's take a look. You guys are not gonna believe this. Okay, I've gotta take it out of the bag so you know it's an up theme. It is a lounge fly. What do you think I need? You guys can't see all the up lounge flies that are at the very top. I'll have to show you guys those. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. But let's just say my little young Carl won't be lonely over there anymore. It is Ellie. Oh, look at her. She is adorable. Her crazy red hair. Wow, I have to check out the front here. The pins. It's like they actually put pins on here. They're not actual pins. They're, they're on there, staying on there good and firm. But we've got the buttons. We've got the pins. And so... The pins, we've got, of course, a grape soda pin. We've got soda pop, lemon pop, and cola pop. That is so fun. That is so cute. See? Oh, this is so cute. And then, of course, there she is with her freckles, with the red hair, her missing teeth. Oh, I love this, love this. I love the colors. I love the, um, the denim shade. Oh! There's something on the side. You don't talk much. I like you. <laughs> That's how I like people too. Just kidding. Just kidding. I love people talking to me. That's great. <laughs> um, you have side pockets. That's great. We have the zipper compartment that opens here. <gasps> Ooh, the lining is so pretty. Can you see that? The balloons, the up house. Is it the house? Yeah, the house is just like a solid little blue and then all of the balloons. That's gorgeous. We've got our foam in there. And the back side of it is just the yellow. This is such a pretty color yellow. It's like a, um, it's pale, but almost like heading towards the green family. Like um, lemon lime. I don't know. I don't know. And then the back, okay, so I love the blue color, like I said, and then look how the, there's almost a shimmer to the straps. They're, they're not shimmering at all. It's just a fabric, like your normal um, canvas type strap, that part of the strap. The rest of the strap is the normal um, faux leather. And then on the back is the drawing of the house. That is adorable. And then, of course, we can't leave off her bow. Carl, well, I guess then he was just a friend, right? But that would change. And of course, he's got his red balloon there. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. <laughs> Pam, thank you so much. This was just so thoughtful and kind. Oh, look, if you pull her hair forward, Ellie's bald. Let's not do that. Let's not embarrass her. Um, wow, this is the cutest. When it first came out, I was like, I'm not even sure I want it. And then, yeah, I had to have it. And I was going to get it. And I was just pausing while I was collecting and buying other things. And Pam was like, don't do it. If you haven't purchased yet, don't. I'm sending one to you. And I couldn't have been more thrilled. This is so awesome. What a great gift and a great surprise. Um, 
I love that. Oh, let's take a look inside real quick. It's always um, pretty stuffed in there, so let's see if we can. And of course, it's the same um, lining. I just wanted to see, does it have a um, pocket? And it does, it has a zipper pocket in there. And you know what's so funny is when I got the Carl, the young Carl, the I showed him, I think I showed him on the channel, but I showed him and then afterwards I was like, he doesn't have any goggles. And I was getting ready to, my husband had bought it for my birthday. Maybe I didn't show him on the channel. And um, I was so upset. Like, I don't know how he did it or whatever, but I'm going to have to use his Amazon account, which he keeps sec so he can surprise me with gifts which is wonderful I don't mean like all year long I just mean like birthdays and Christmas <laughs> he's a great guy um but uh I couldn't find the goggles I was like they didn't give them to me I have to return this I have to send it back I've got to go through him and have him file the return and blah 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 I went and watched another video and saw where they pulled the glasses the goggles out from the zippered pocket inside so if you've bought that bag and you think you're missing goggles keep looking um, and it's not the, he has the glasses on, but you'll see it's like a Velcro. Oh, it's magnetic, but the glasses come off the goggles things. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> anyway. All right. That's it guys. Thank you again, Pam, so much. That was the sweetest, kindest thing. I am so excited to have the couple together and, um, yeah, I look forward to what they're going to do next because there's a, there's a Doug and there's a Russell and there's a Carl, young Carl and Ellie. There's an old Carl. I don't know. Maybe they'll do the, the middle-aged getting married Carl and Ellie. Um, I have the Kevin. I don't have Doug. Um, yeah, I don't have Doug. I don't think I have the other Russell yet either. <laughs> Russell with the badges. So I still have more to get. Believe it or not, I can get more up bags. So I'm going to have to like expand into the rest of the room, but I'm so sorry. I'm just battling and running long, but this is so exciting being that, um, you know, it's my fave. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, go ahead and subscribe. Um, up is not the only thing we do here. So, um, subscribe to see what's upcoming and next. And again, go check out Pam's channel at Coco for Disney. Um, thank you again, Pam. I, I so, so appreciate this. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.